in one way this is the worst book i've ever read because it's so fucking sad obviously which is kind of the whole deal with this book and why everyone is so invested in it basically these queer characters that go through a lot of trauma and their lives are just awful and spoiler it doesn't really get any better <laughs> I'm here to do a very quick review on the book Get a Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. So I needed the daylight to do this video because the sun sets about 2 p.m. still. But the sunlight is getting right in my eyes, but whatever. And this is basically a story about the lives of four friends by the names of Malcolm, JB, Willem, and Jude. Essentially a friend group from New York, I think and just their lives throughout several decades but the book uh, especially focuses on the character Jude and his complex relationship with himself, his own body, his trauma, his experience being a disabled person in this world. This book has garnered a lot of attention worldwide over the last couple of years especially because of TikTok. I read it for the first time in 2021. It was very intense of course and I immediately had some very ambivalent feelings about this book. This time around, I'm kind of getting the feeling that people are people are being a bit more critical to the book, kind of questioning the, the message that the author is trying to convey and the different uh, problematic aspects of it. The first feeling that I had after re reading this book was, okay, this is a heart-wrenching book, but I don't understand why she couldn't give us a happy ending because we've endured so much throughout these last, what, seven, 800 pages, and we're finally at the end. The final stage let's just get a positive nuanced perspective on what it means to struggle and how there's always light at the end of the tunnel but no hanya obviously goes for the the worst possible ending jude kills himself in the end and this is after enduring sexual abuse losing his his uh, the love of his life and his best friend and two of his best friends okay i just needed to get the hair out of my eyes so i got this after reading this book i've kind of question whether or not authors have a responsibility to tell positive stories and convey positive stories or at least write or create art that has a positive ending and obviously art is subjective and you're free to do whatever you want more or less but obviously what is kind of problematic in this particular book is how there are so many groups that are being kind of exploited for the story the book is divided into seven parts then we get to the happy years which is where Jude, for the first time in his life, is feeling more or less content, I suppose. He gets kind of peace and inner peace and he finds love and he finds solace in his relationships and is trying to work through his trauma in a somewhat manageable way because obviously his traumas are so deep and awful that he needs help. But in this period, he at least tries and he's very much in love with his best friend, Willem, and they're living a happy life together. And then Anya does the unthinkable. She rips... Willem away from Jude in a car accident, as well as Malcolm. And Jude is obviously so deeply impacted by this event that he can't seem to find himself after this. He tries to cope, but he's not able to. Eventually, Jude succumbs to the, these traumatic experiences and he, he kills himself. And it's awful. And it's really, really awful. You're, you're just left with this kind of hollow feeling of nothingness and nihilism after reading this book. And in one way, this has been like confused as something very deep and as something very like profound. Yeah, I love the fact that book talk has kind of encouraged more people to read. It's awesome. But we still need to have a discussion about what this entails and what premise we use to discuss some sort of book. So what I found especially concerning about A Little Life is there are so many groups that are exploited and so many like identities that are exploited by this woman does not have the knowledge or the adequate research to perhaps tell their story or at least that's kind of the the impression that i've gotten and main question is could hanya have done more to uh, convey jude's story and malcolm and jb stories as well and this whole concept of post black they won't do and even willem doesn't want to recognize the fact that he's bisexual or that he may be gay it seems like the author is just distancing herself from some very like obvious important topics like about identity just whatever she wants with it and that's where the question of responsibility comes into play and if it was me what kind of responsibility do i have to tell a story about a, a group that i don't identify with you know so i kind of i get the criticism that she has gotten because jude's story is is extremely 
extremely difficult to read. It, it's these brothers at the monastery and it's Dr. Trailer and then it's Caleb and then essentially it's kind of Willem as well because Jude is not comfortable having sex with him but he still does it to, to continue being loved by him. A Little Life is a very interesting book. I think it's a good book for how it how it connects people and how it unifies the whole audience. It's a, there's a reason why it's so popular, obviously, but uh, that doesn't mean that we can't discuss why it's so popular and what kind of consequences this book should have for future literature on disabled people. I'm a bit afraid to read Anya's next body of work, which is To Paradise, because I've heard that she deals with, I think it's slavery and it's more black people in focus. Essentially, Little Life is a beautiful book in, in its simplicity, kind of. I like the whole concept of telling a story from start to finish in this way, um, but I'm critical to how some of the traumas were conveyed and how they just piled up on one another without any clear indication that this might get better for Jude at one point. That's I suppose that's the most unrealistic part for me because you meet deeply traumatized people and you hear about them and you hear about them and there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is hope of who is this author to say that there isn't. Maybe that's controversial to say, I'm not sure. I think she could have dealt with that a little bit better. It's a beautifully written book and you really feel with Jude and Jude is not a character that will leave you anytime soon. Like I remember thinking about Jude for weeks after reading A Little Life and he really stuck with me, his personality and kind of his traumas and I just kept hoping that his life would pick up and he would be in a better place at some point. What did you think about this book? Do authors have a responsibility to do research on the groups that they are including in their stories? What do you think? Thank you.